Your Majesty, please, if, if you will allow me to um, uh, express the, uh, the absolute appreciation on behalf of myself, uh, my family, uh, the people of Jordan, to welcome you back uh, to Jordan. Uh, you have been uh, uh, an old and dear friend of His Late Majesty Kun Hussein, and I had the honor of, of getting to know you uh, uh, during that relationship and then a relationship that has uh, um, uh, been developed between both of us but also with the younger generation uh, shows the strength uh, and, uh, and uh, um, uh, warmth between our two uh, royal families, but also between our two nations. I also wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your 51st year uh, as, uh, as a, a statement and as a leader uh, in the world that has had so much experience. Uh, your country has um, navigated the challenges that all of us have in the world. Um, with uh, the challenges that are facing uh, not only Islam but, but the region uh, with your usual ability to, to bring calm and common sense to, to a very important uh, uh, dialogue. So I, I wish you, sir, uh, your family and uh, this delegation and the peoples of, of Brunei continued success and the strength of relationship between uh, our two countries. Earlier this morning there's been a series of uh, memorandums between our two countries uh, in cooperation obviously in the defense, tourism, uh, customs and infrastructure and that again is a message to our peoples how close and important uh, the relationship is. Uh, and so we've alluded also obviously to uh, previous cooperation not only on trade and investments but, uh, but also the defense and intelligence aspect. Our relationship between our two countries have been uh, so strong. Uh, and the participation of, of, of your side in the ACBA process meeting which is a way of looking at the challenges of, uh, of, of terrorism and extremism in a holistic approach. So I, I, I wanted to thank you for that, but again, uh, in front of my people, to uh, again thank His Majesty for uh, the strong role you have played in the defense of Jerusalem uh, for as long as I've, I've known you, uh, when there has been suffering for the Palestinian people um, and for uh, Jerusalem. Uh, you have given aid to people, uh, whether it was in Gaza or in the West Bank, and that has always been very appreciated. Uh, you have always looked at the challenges that, uh, that uh, people have in our region. Uh, and although you're all the way over in a Asia, y y this part of the world is close in your heart. And your country has done as much as, as any country can, can do uh, in looking after the challenges that our young people in this region face. So again, I want to point that out uh, because I know how uh, that is close to your heart and how sincere you have been. But sir, I, I want to conclude by saying thank you so much for being here. Um, and for the relationship that we've built between the two countries. It's a pleasure to see you again, Your Majesty. I very much appreciate your invitation to meet, to visit Jordan on this occasion. Thank you for the generous hospitality and excellent arrangements made for my visit. Since my last visit, 2009, I can see that Jordan has continued to develop well. I commend Your Majesty for your able leadership and your progress in the implementation of Jordan's Vision 2025 that aims to revitalize Jordan's economy. These visits give us opportunity to strengthen our relations and to view, review our bilateral cooperation effort. I am grateful to see that since the establishment of our diplomatic ties 33 years ago, our relationship has developed into a close friendship. I'm happy that today we have signed three memorandum of understanding and one agreement. The signing of these documents mark an important milestone in our bilateral relation and a testament to the strong link between our two countries. For defense, currently the defense sector is our most active and critical of engagement. The reciprocal of participation in international defense event organized by each other is but one demonstrate of our close relationship. I would like to take this opportunity to thank your government for inviting Brunei to such events in Jordan. The frequent exchanges of training program between our officials are important opportunities to learn from each other in a rapidly advancing field. The MOU on Defense Cooperation expresses our mutual respect for each other, extends our partnership in this area. 
in this arena and I will be a, it will be a platform for concerted action. I am confident it will contribute in a meaningful way to increasing the security of our, of our respective nations.